What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between Kelvin Gastelum and Ian Heinish. Fun matchup between these two. Big fight here in the middleweight division. I mean, these guys are top 15 fighters. Gastelum, tough three-fight losing streak. Heinish did lose two in a row, was able to bounce back with a quick knockout win over Gerald Mearshart in his last fight. Gastelum coming off the quick loss, that against Jack Hermanson. I think that this is Kelvin Gastelum's fight. I'll be straight up. I mean, I think he's has a much more wide array of skills than Ian Heinish. I think he's faster. He hits harder. I think Kelvin Gastelum is a top guy at middleweight. He's just had some tough losses. I mean, he lost to Darren Till, Israel Adesanya, and Jack Hermanson, three of the top guys in that weight class. I mean, they're some of the best talents, and especially Jack Hermanson with his submissions, very tricky. He catches him with a heel hook. I, I mean, it happens. Things like that, fluky things like that, especially when you're dry, Heel hooks happen. It's part of the game. It's not commonly seen in MMA, but in jiu-jitsu, it's something you see a fair amount. And I mean, Jack Hermanson is very good with those heel hooks. Gastelum was not prepared. Ian Heinish, I like his striking. He's a decent wrestler as well, but he's not at Gastelum's level. I think we're looking at a Kelvin Gastelum second round TKO potentially here. I really think that he's going to come out on fire and really try to bounce back because he needs this fight. I'll be honest with you. Losing three in a row is not a good look. Kelvin Gastelum was formerly right at the top of the weight class, was supposed to fight Robert Whitaker for the title, and now he's dropped three straight. He wins here, and I do think he starts another step towards a title challenge once again. I think he could potentially break into the top of the top again i think there's a lot of fun fights left for kelvin gastelum in his career he's only 29 years old and he beats ian heinish here betting odds for this fight of course kelvin gastelum is going to be the favorite i mean the guy is uh you know former title challenger gave out his toughest fight minus 230 favorite is gastelum ian heinish the plus 190 underdog kelvin gastelum wins here and i think he wins impressively and really bounces back well thank you guys all so much for watching smash that like button subscribe to the channel also guys follow my social media instagram twitter and I will see you all in the next video.